All right, y'all, welcome back to the Combat Arms channel. Okay, so today we're checking out another special police team out of the Netherlands. And this is the, the BOT or the Bizonder Understernings team. Uh, so it's special support team. Now I looked them up on Wikipedia and it looks like they're kind of like a special police transport element. Now it looks like these guys were kind of built out of necessity because it, it looks like they were attacking police convoys at some point, kind of like freeing the, the criminals that were inside the police vehicles. Um, so I guess these guys are kind of in charge of that security, but they also do security for other things like, like buildings and maybe VIPs from what I saw on Wikipedia. But yeah, it seems like a pretty interesting team. This video is pretty short and we are doing the auto translate. So hopefully it works relatively well, but yeah, these guys are different from other police units. Like this is a very specific thing. I mean, I know special police transport elements, uh, but Generally, it's like nuclear kind of stuff. Like the, the Department of Energy here in the U.S. has their own specialized police that kind of guard like nuclear components. But this is different. Like just to guard criminals, it's kind of interesting. So let's check it out. What the heck? Oh, okay. Wait, is that like a police SOP where they put like blinding goggles on the on the dudes i mean i guess if it's like a really bad guy uh that kind of helps uh, it's like a nicer way as opposed to doing like the the bag over their head it's kind of like a nicer more comfortable way and generally speaking i imagine the bag probably isn't going to look so good when you show up in court and they were kind of complaining about that <laughs> hmm damn okay so of course we got to check out the gear I mean, they don't look as cool as the DSI, but the DSI, I mean, those guys are on another freaking level. So I'm guessing these guys don't do a whole lot of at night stuff because it doesn't have like a night vision match or anything. But okay, I do like the, the jeans. We've seen that a lot with the Dutch police kind of doing their plain clothes thing. It's pretty cool. It's always skinny jeans. <laughs> yeah, it's always the skinniest jeans possible. They need to like cut the jeans off when they're done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I used to rock skinny jeans a lot, so I'm not hating. Cool logo. Okay, well, I guess they do night stuff, but they just don't need night vision. I like the Range Rover, though. That's pretty sweet. Damn, they roll pretty deep. I kind of wonder what you need to do to kind of warrant these guys escorting you. Cause <laughs> I wonder if that's like part of the uniform. Like we have pants, but you're not allowed to wear these pants. You need to wear your own jeans. <laughs> I mean, it, it's got an image to it. Not a big fan of the, the pistol on the on the body armor. Of course, a lot of people would disagree, but I've personally never been able to, to get used to that. It just feels kind of weird. And I just don't like having stuff on the front of my my play carrier either, especially when I'm, you know, snagging stuff on it all the time. I guess that auto translate isn't really coming into effect here, which I guess is beneficial because we know how that can be. Oh, damn. Whoa, that was kind of freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, these guys must be, damn, even those, holy cow. I don't know why, but those handcuffs look like extremely heavy duty. <laughs> like that shackle is like super thick. Hmm. Maybe like really big like drug criminals or maybe gang, probably more gang related stuff, potential for violence. Oh yeah, he's got, I think there's a, yeah, he's got the uniform pants on. He looks pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that was, Again, that was so different from what we've seen before. We've never seen a police unit like this. Oh, come on. This dude looks freaking way cooler with those pants on. I mean, I, I get it. The plain clothes kind of stuff is it, cool. It makes it almost scarier in some regard having like <laughs> these dudes in, in skinny jeans. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how if they have like if you have like massive quads and like massive calves or in skinny jeans, I'd be kind of scared too. 
<laughs> again, this was really freaking cool. I can't really compare it to anything. Again, I kind of like talked about the Department of Energy nuclear carrier team. Um, those guys are pretty freaking cool. I haven't checked up on them recently, so I'm not sure like how high speed they look now, but those guys are pretty legit, understandably. So when you're talking about like nuclear components and, and what have you, but these guys, again, it, this is something different. It seems like such a niche thing. I feel like they probably would prefer to move guys at nights just because there's like less traffic and less kind of visibility, but they are rolling kind of deep. Like they had a few different vehicles. And again, it's probably going to be more of like gang members or, or something because we've seen it before with like the Dutch DSI, how they're sort of taking on gang members. It's probably going to be people like that nasty that require something like this. But yeah, if you're having a lot of, you know, gang members trying to you know break their dudes out of the, the cars, then yeah, you're probably going to want some pretty high speed guys like like these guys. But OK, gear's pretty cool. Again, the, the jeans, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the jeans. I, I think it's definitely a cool aesthetic, but you really got to commit to it. You have to just wear like your own kind of t-shirt as well if you're going to be rocking the, the jeans. Get like a plate carrier on top of your t-shirt and that's pretty cool, but they're like halfway in uniform, which is kind of different. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And of course, please add any information or context if you have it. And of course, those personal anecdotes are always very welcome because those are pretty entertaining to read. Uh, but again, if you guys haven't checked out the Discord, I definitely recommend checking it out. If you guys just want to recommend some stuff, I usually see it a little bit quicker if it's in the Discord. But yeah, there's a bunch of different channels. So pretty much whatever topic you want to talk about, you can talk about it down in the Discord. Now, at the same time, if you guys want to check out the Patreon or the channel membership, you can do that if you want to see some like bloopers and also kind of like some extra footage, usually from the from the Shorts channel. And of course, if you guys haven't checked out the short channel, that's kind of where I post all of my like gun related stuff because yeah, YouTube doesn't like when I put that on the main channel too much. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you always for supporting the channel. And thank you for these very cool recommendations. There's, I mean, we always kind of see things that are similar, but again, sometimes you'll see some stuff like this where it's like completely out of the realm of what we've seen before. And it's always really cool to check it out and see all these nuanced units from all these different countries. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.